five. So, yeah. I mean, did it rain here we in the did. city? Yeah, we ended up having a couple of pockets of very heavy thunderstorms that rumbled through parts of the area, so not everyone ended up getting hit by that. But here, too, some of the storms were very, very right. slow moving, and that's the very problem that you face when it's flash flooding. It, it comes up on you like a flash, whereas just typical flooding is a lot more uh, just delayed in its response. But, yeah, flash flooding is very, very dangerous. Now, thankfully, I'm not anticipating any flash flooding in our forecast here today, but there will be a few showers with thunderstorms. Let's very briefly, though, talk about what's average, what's normal for this time of year. You know, a high of 90 degrees that we're calling for today, that's not all that atypical. The normal high is 87. We're in the midst, after all, of the hottest time of the entire year, and uh, we are a far cry, at least from the record that we set back only a couple of years ago uh, of 100 degrees in 2012. Now, the sun has been up for about a half hour or so, and it will certainly do its part to help heat things up here locally. We also have a southerly wind flow helping to push the warmth and also the moisture are way. So that in itself is going to be ample and that will make it feel a lot more humid to you when you walk out the door. But future weather doesn't really show much of anything popping on the radar until at least shortly after lunchtime, at which point, you know, the, the placement of these little pockets of storms could be a little bit more removed or a little bit more scattered in nature. But regardless, they'll be out there. And if you really don't want to take an umbrella along, you can likely get away with it just without it. But just keep in mind that's the afternoon and toward evening that any showers and storms would pop up. But again, not everyone's going to get hit by that. Now, meanwhile, while as we look forward in the eyewitness weather seven day, a string of 90 or above, and this lasts us right through the weekend. At the moment, I think Thursday is the driest of the next five, and at the moment, it looks like the weekend could actually see some more widespread rain and storms. Misha.